Matthew, I've lost everything. I've lost my husband, my son. You want to take my church away too? Dennis isn't your church, Mum. Well... It will be a better place without him. And... And you didn't lose your son. You didn't want him. You made me choose between you and God. Uh, I told myself it was, it was some sort of test. You know, like Abraham and Isaac prepared to sacrifice his only son because his love for God was greater than any worldly bond. I ask myself every day if I made the right choice. And I still don't know if I did. What a cruel bastard your God is. God is pure love. And you were raised in it and you chose to turn away. No, no, I was, you... I was raised in fear and shame. I was raised to despise myself. I know it's what you believe. I know that maybe you didn't mean to, or that maybe you couldn't see what I was, or even admit it to yourself, because I did a very good job of hiding it. Mum, if I could have turned myself straight, I would have. If I could have taken a pill, or if the praying had worked. Even after I left, I, I spent years just hiding myself, just working doing everything I could to be, to be good, to redeem myself. And it was sad, and it was lonely, and I spent years like that. <laughs> and then, then I met Jonathan, and he showed me that I didn't have to be scared all the time of people seeing who I really am that I can be loved. <laughs> no, Mum. Matthew, please. Tell me about the morning of the funeral. <laughs>